have power to lift up, to bless, to inspire, and to heal. Use it. Proverbs 12 verse 18. There is one who speaks like the piercings of a sword, but the tongue of the wise promotes health. Proverbs 10 and verse 11. The mouth of the righteous is a well of life, but violence covers the mouth of the wicked. Proverbs 15 verse 4. A wholesome tongue is a tree of life, but perverseness in it breaks the spirit. You know, these verses contrast the power of good words versus perverse words or evil words. And we, of course, want to focus in on the power of words that are wholesome, that are good. And we see here that why the tongue of the wise can actually promote health, that it is a well of life. That means it's a well from which you draw water, that water brings refreshing. But here it's a well that gives water that actually releases life and blessing. And it's a tree of life. And in the Bible, the tree of life is an imagery for healing and health, as we see in the book of Revelation, that the tree of life is for the healing of the nations. So it's saying that wholesome words, the words of a righteous man, which of course would imply that these are words of truth, words of righteousness, are good words, wholesome words, clean words, uh, upbuilding words, encouraging words, that these kinds of words will actually promote health, it will bring life and blessing, and it will bring healing to people. So this is the power of words, that when we speak words of appreciation, when we speak words of gratitude, when we express our thankfulness, when we uh, express sometimes even our sorry and our apology, when we express uh, uh, our confidence in people, when we express, when we bring encouragement, we can do all kinds of things through words. And words can impart such grace, such healing, such blessing, such life to the person who is hearing those words. So can you imagine, this is so easy, meaning all we're doing is speaking words. Of course, we speak them out of our heart that we got to mean those words. But those words can actually have such kind of effect or impact on those who are hearing it. So let us understand the significance, the power of words, the power of words to bring healing, life, blessing, and encouragement. And let's make use of it. Be intentional when you can. Speak life, speak blessing into others just by using right words. Let's pray. Father, we ask that you help us Learn how to speak words so as through words we to impart life and blessing and encouragement and healing and wholeness into others. Help us to use this, Lord, that you've, this, this means that you've given us. Help us to use it to bring life and blessing and encouragement and enrich others. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.